Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yoshuli back with the video and today we're gonna be doing some Quan offlane. I was sort of thinking about doing a little bit different build that I normally one on Quan. However, we're actually going against Nitro who's locking in the offlane. It's kind of mad with. For those who do not know Nitro, he's actually a well-respected player in the comp scene. He does a lot of like really kind of cool off meta stuff in the offlane, like sales offlane, he kind of got that started a bit, and then also Kaime offlane as well, that he's playing right here. So I kind of want to like, do a more normal build, or rather a build that I know 100% is going to be good against the Kaime offlane, because I cannot be disrespecting Nitro by all means, I need to like actually um, play like a more serious build to kind of respect him all the way through. Let's see if I can pull this off as well. Okay, I was trying to do the other one, you can like, you can run with the emote and do some funny stuff with it, but I won't have the time to really um, do it right here. So the key thing to do in this matchup is essentially just use my arm B to trade mostly into the Chimera because this Q is actually pretty strong, especially early. You, don't not, you do not want to disrespect it by all means. And so like the best way to eat that up is to just Use my army to get the shield, but also do the damage to him as well. Right here, trying to get the level 2. So my, I'm gonna go for E, because if it leaps on top of me, I might just leave the way um, by the way. I think I can probably get two of those right there, but I want to make sure I don't take like too long to trade with the Kaimeo. Because Kaimeo really wants a long trade, I want the really short trade. Is how this matchup's gonna go right here. So I have to do my best of just bully him essentially. It's a big, big key thing in this matchup. And it's definitely gonna get easier once I get like uh, my Brimstone. Like Brimstone slash Fire Blossom is what's gonna be key to win this matchup because I get the armor but also get the sustained damage I need to kind of um, deal with this kind of for the most part. Oh, I actually don't have a mana to actually fight that. But he is getting pretty low, so I'm trying to tell my team hey, you got a kind of that's kind of low, so this might be an opportunity to maybe punish him. But it looks like he's got to take the early breeze set, so we're going to have to just wait for the next opportunity to get him. I am slightly off for my Brimstone right here, so I'm actually going to try and um, get that right here by trying to see it this way perfectly as best I can. I'm going to not be able to get my 2 buffs sadly, but the trade off is that I'm going to get Brimstone, which I really need to be able to trade into this Chimera right here, 100%. So it's gonna be really good once we get Tempest online because Kame wants to just all in on you. And, and Tempest, you want people to stay on top of you. So if I have a offlane like Kame that's staying on top of me anyways, I'm gonna get a lot of good value from it. So after that though, I, I haven't decided what I want to do as my second item. I like to go Time Whoop second because I like the mana sustain and poke it can give me in lane. But um, I might actually, I might, I'm considering maybe Tainted God second, but I might still probably go for um, Time Warp or Oath Keeper second, just mainly due to the fact that, um, uh, I think at the last hit that really sucked, but, um, mainly to the fact that I want my magical, my abilities kind of hit hard against this time man is the big, big thing. Okay. So again, immediately he arm beats me, I use my arm beat to trade back with him, do the damage, and then you let the shield kind of eat up, um, the trade right there. That's why I want to do magical power, because... I feel like with how this matchup is going to go, I really want to use my arm B a lot to trade into him. And if I can get my arm B to hit hard, then that's just really, really good. Dang, he's not going to be able to last hit right there. Kind of is what it is, like Kamel just was in the better spot to trade into me. But I am trying pretty good into him already. That's kind of like the power of Brimstone coming in to help out whenever we can. So we're actually doing pretty good, actually good on this trading right here. I just need my mana to sustain more than anything. So I might actually 
Yeah, I'm gonna do time more second because I feel like I can keep spamming my abilities and this time I can't really um, do anything because he's not running out the mana already. Nice. He he didn't blink right away because he knew that if he blinked, then I might I might be blinked to get him. So it's kind of like the same kind of tip I give you guys is that if you're gonna die. Might as well just want to you blink for when you actually need to use a kill or kill or get away from the situation you can actually get. In that situation, the Nitro can't you know he can't get away, so you can just hold on to his um, blink and save it for next time when you can actually back. get value out of it. Nice, we got the solo kill on him, that's pretty huge. Um, finish out Fire Blossom, it's gonna be really, really nice. So now we gotta start bringing the armor. I'm actually gonna stay a little bit longer because I Enemy want to get this extra siege. armor right here to really make sure the Chimera's damage won't really stick on top of us. Kind of bloody game though, like um, enemy team having like the six kills on the board. Seems like the way to jungle and somehow the melee support gain all the kills. So interesting stuff. Either way, it looks like the dual lane and it's kind of losing and it looks like my Grace are not able to get tempo started just yet. So we'll see how we'll see how all this kind of pans out in the long run. But at the same time, as long as I can win my side of the map, then. My team has less stuff to worry about. Again, I do not want to take a long trade. He has ultimate. He could lock me down if I try to auto tra trade to him. The wave is pushing anyway, so I'm just going to play patient and let this bounce back to me. I catch the wave and I minimize the amount of damage I would take. Because yeah, we see a victor right there. The wave always is um, pushed up, so I'm in a very safe spot. See right there, he's trying to get any kind of trade whenever he can. Maybe try to bait me because Victor was kind of around. He may be hiding the fog wall. Oh, messed up my Q. But that's going to give my... Um, uh, nice to dodge the ultimate last second. And then we're going to be able to finish him off with the help of the Greystone. So well played by the Greystone, they're kind of helping me right there because that Nitro really wants to get some kind of kill started. But like, I think Quan is actually someone that can do decently well into the Chimera as long as you respect his armor and trades like that. So, I think Ritu may be still around-ish. I'm going to actually opt to do Tuba. Actually, how much am I off? Okay, I have enough for five blocks, so it's actually fine. Okay, I see. I see August there. Maybe I should rotate. That she sends off here to get the tier buff and get some health. But seems like August is, is already out there, so I will not be able to do anything to help out. Nice, we got five blossom online, and now I'm gonna start burning into time world. I think especially if you are ahead like this, I think you can get away with time work. Because now I'm going to have that man sustain. I'm going to be able to go a lot more for Q and R meets if I really want to harass the comment from range. And then overall, I'm going to be able to use my ability rotations much more in lane. Because all lane phase is all about sustain, sustain both health and mana. So like I find that time work, unless I have that on my Quan, I just don't run into issues nearly as much anymore when it comes to rotating my abilities out. So we do it for the last hit, do a little bit poke right there. We have to wait until our army comes off cooldown, but it's not that long honestly, so we're actually kind of chilling. Not gonna be able to get the hit right there, but I'm really good at clearing this wave, so I won't be have any issues last hitting right here. Yeah, it's just so satisfying to just clear wave like that. Not sure where the Kaima is at. I have Tempest I should be able to grab um, as soon as I back. I think he's gonna probably back for his iron was looks like. So I'm just, I'll am just i just do like a really quick clear. Reset to get my Tempest because that's another huge power spike for me. And we just play around making sure that we're always on top of this Kaima. Yeah, you guys got Bastards right there now. Wave's not in the best spot so I'm just gonna like make sure I get uh, my quest. And I'm actually gonna pick up one mana region, even though it's just one. It's actually a pretty substantial, like, um, I know my mana is a bit better in lane. 
So like I sometimes like to finish this first just to get that man regen early. And since um, Nitro is holding the wave on the left side, I'm actually going to look at mid because I don't have to worry about my tower for a while. And maybe I can look on the kill on this Argus potentially. This will not know where he's at. Okay, well, he's going to step up right here. Making sure we secure the kill. I'm not, I'm not going to blink for that. I want to try if we can just kill the Victor. Wow, we really do not have the damage at all. Our Graystone was just not around for some reason. Okay. That's actually a really unfortunate death. Because we saw Graystone was around, but he didn't follow up with that. Then I just realized that was actually a, um, what you call? A seal support, not our jungler. The jungler is the Graystone. I will return soon. Oh yeah, that sucks because I kind of gave Nitro some free farm right there. I really try to see if I can really just extend my lead to try to do something mid. And it was looking promising, but we didn't have the damage um, right there with the Greystone. He was kind of doing something. I needed to like, watch back what he was doing. I was just focused on the anger mode and anything. So a little bit bad on me because now the primer is going to catch up slowly. But I still think we're going to be better than him as long as we stick to the short training patterns that we've been doing this game. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to test you, but because that's kind of actually gonna go away like right now. It's like very fast at taking that out. So I think once we have an ultimate and Tempest online, I think we can put a good solid 1v1. We actually just saw him just reset right there. So I'll just reset this, making sure this bounces into the way properly, and then making sure that um we he loses some of that CS. There's a storm. Can we maybe main fine? I kind of want to do the main part. My wave's in the very good spot. Yeah, let's just do it. Mid lane's there. My wave's in the very good spot. We saw where Jungler's at, and he's not in this vicinity. So this is actually a very perfect opportunity to do this. And I think this is going to go to the Greystone. Like, if you want to give it to me, I'll take good use of it. But I think I'm... I guess this kind of mid is going to be a little bit hard to force it in, if that makes sense. He's actually going to give it to me, so I respect that. It just means that I'll have to... Oh, he got the last hit still because of his hunt, but that's fine. Like, I think that's fine because I want to just be selfish, not try to break towers anytime soon. Yeah, it looks like he really wants to get aggro. Ah, uh, okay. That was really bad. Just retreat. Because, like, I'm, I got slow was the big thing, so my jump... Ultimate wasn't nearly as good, but he's still going in. I have to try to follow, especially since... Nah, just... Argus is right there. You do not want to go there, Greystone. Oh no, he passed really badly. I just gonna help that. I'm gonna trust that he can get out of it. Yeah, I kind of whipped the ultimate pretty big, but that's just because, like, I kind of underestimate how big that move speed increase um, that, like, Ice School Talents was and how much it slowed me, so my jump forward was pretty not great, I would say. Okay, he's gonna chase me again, so tell the dead. He's finding me in the wave, so I actually don't think he win this. I gotta respect his wave though, a little bit. Trying to see where this camera is at. Yeah, it seems like the witch was around, so thank goodness I started back off already. I will only rest a moment. Maybe if I had my ultimate right there, I would finish him off, but um, at the same time, I was expecting him to chase me all the way like there. I think it really underestimate how much damage I can actually put output onto him, especially since he was fighting in my wave right there. Okay, so I think for the most part with how this is going, I just have to stick mostly to this 1v1 with this Chimera, because if I keep rotating, he's just going to get free farm, and then a Chimera that gets free farm can actually pull up a hit pretty strongly, so I have to match that. 
um, making sure that he doesn't get the free farm and make sure I can stay um, well of it against him right here. He just uses Q, so I'm gonna use my um, B to straight into him. He's gonna um, B into me, that's fine. I'll just um, B back and just come out on top of the Shui. Yeah, he's trying to do his um, beats whenever he can, but like I'm just honestly outshooting him still. Nice. We actually really just out TPS him right there. Because he was getting to that kill threshold where I actually just do way better than him. So I just kind of send him right there and we actually it pay off really well. Because I mean, this is like Basilisk. He has attack speed. He actually has scary sustained damage. But the big difference was I got him shrunk enough to where my first damage will finish him off before his sustained damage and reach and kick in right there as you guys saw. So I actually have to go take the guard third. Um, I just have to build some magical power so I, my build this will stick and hurt like it did right there. So now that I got some of that damage, I got that man reach in that I really want to. Now I'll go take the guard to make sure that all this high damage he's doing is not going to really like be as like deadly because I have two physical armor arms and I have a light to really reduce his damage. Nice we get finish off time warp right here except I kinda actually want to see something real quick. Hmm okay. I'm gonna do something that you probably don't see that often. I'm actually gonna forego not finishing time warp first because all I'm gaining from time warp when I finish that off is a subtraction from my cooldowns. And sure that's nice, but I think getting that reduced healing 25% is way more impactful of a pop buy. So I'm gonna finish time warp later and get the healing now. And I think he's invading, so I might actually go into the jungle right here and contest him on these camps. He's gonna have some stacks built up already, but for the most part, yeah, I see how he's trying to like... Okay, he's doing blue buff, he's getting super greedy. And he's trying to use his health regen too. Okay, I think we have to go for the faint tooth angle. I'm gonna make sure my wave's in a good spot, so I might, um, I'm gonna like do like one more wave, push out the T2 tower, and then I'm gonna go for this um, faint tooth. And then that also means that I get my um, back I need for my time warp. Grabbing some supplies. Because we lost the first thing too, so I have to try to see if I can make it to like the next big fight that's going to be important for our team. My left wave is in a good spot. Um, Nitro might honestly like rotate me to Fainters, um, just so he gets extra body there, but we'll see what happens. I think we should attack right though. Attack right or try to get like a pick, like on this Argus right here. Can we attack this? Nice pick. Let's just do Fainters now. We see kind of left side is a 5v3 if you're all just going Fainters right now. So if they try to contest it, they're gonna just die. So kind of see us right there. We want, we want to keep in mind of the Victor. Making sure that he's just not able to get in right here is please. Took a lot of damage um, right there. Right and now I'm gonna go back to left because Nitro is actually for going not going that team fight and trying to push and get gold right there. So I'm gonna immediately res um, reset. I'm kind of chunk anyways, and like I just know he's gonna keep on pushing. Like at this point, all I'm I, I'm gonna guess that all he wants to do is just keep trying to farm as much as he can. He's even four, but his farm is good. So he's trying to get some way to like um, be relevant in this game. If that makes sense. And that also means that he's gonna keep invading our um, blue side right here. Yeah, it's too late. He's like he's very fast at doing it too. So he's trying to like really just like take the blue side jungle a lot, 
trying to be selfish on this farm because even though he's doing four, he can just keep on farming permanently and eventually he's just gonna get all his items that he really wants online. That also just means I need to stay here quite often because if I go rotate a lot then he's just gonna be able to keep on farming for free. He might, he's actually looking like he wants to dance a little bit. But he's really looking pretty bad because he's fighting in that wave. He didn't probably need to take that kill, but I appreciate the support as always. Cause he's trying to like, keep trying to like, dash check me. Not, I don't think he's eager checking me, he knows I'm gonna fight back, but he's at the same time, he's like, Oh, I have Basilisk guys, but I'm strong. Except with my items, I'm actually beating him out, especially since, again, he's fighting the mini wave, he should know better not to find the mini wave, even though it's like mid game, means to add up a lot. Don't, I don't think he's gonna be able to catch me, because I just kind of dash away. Soon. Nice, take the reset. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get our Tainted Guard just yet, but not too far off of it. So I might. I, I think, let's see, it's only the. I think I'm actually gonna go like um, my Flex Matrix as my first item. So my World Breaker might be my last just because I need to like. Build some magical defense against Argus, and it's also not that bad against the Kira as well. Not, not the Kira, but I mean the Richter. Okay, looks like they're not gonna chase that. Wait, Argus right here though. The little dwarf is right there, so... I don't want to blink for this, I shouldn't need to, honestly. Nice with the kill. Oh, right, right, right here, right here. Dang, he just got blown up. I have to try to put on the Chimera because he's doing a lot of damage. I have to try to get him in this next rotation. For now, I'm going to just focus on Victor, saving my abilities for him. That's huge. Like, that was actually a really big fight. I'm really strong and I actually got like, um, really like great fire with them. And the team of course, all war team like that was perfect. Got a little bit scared because I'm a kind melee with all this healing and mirror shield. It can be quite deadly, but fortunately we're able to like, bust him out just enough so he's not able to keep fighting anymore. So I'm gonna get the T2 town on the right side. That's gonna really, um, be big. We're trying to open up the... I think it's a bait. I don't think we should take this. We should not be taking this. Uh, I, might... I really do not want this. Like, this is really bad. Like, because the enemy team is coming in. Yeah, like, that's like a, that's just a, that's where I just have to just be like, nope, I'm leaving. Because that's just way over commitment at that point. Because we killed them, but they'll respawn back in the way. Kamel bought, got new items. Maybe also, it's just like, you just don't fight that out. That was just really bad by the Grey Stone because he died Grab right before supplies. this um, third faint tooth right here. So, not looking too great. Um, they might be able to just do this immediately, is the big worry I have right now. At least I didn't die. Like, I didn't fall for the usual trap where I'm like, I have to help this when it's just a bad. I'll just die for nothing, I feel. Let's just get the Mario. Uh, we can't contest the faint tubes without like the... I'm just gonna focus the Mario. I don't think that ultimate is necessary, but that means that we don't have to worry about that. Trying to go for the big ultimate. Oh my god, I got such a nasty ultimate. 
I have to back because this is what I mean. Nitro is only going to keep farming at this point and keep split pushing. So I'm the only one that has to deal with that. But also it had to be the team fights or else we just cannot win these team fights as I think we should. But this is definitely a um, prime pick right here. The jungle is dead. This is a um, not so hot looking time mirror. So I think, okay, if we get the kill, then it's 100% a pick right here. Nice. Actually got a Y block right there. He blink. Uh oh. We might probably do that in mode because now it looks like the game pick up right here. Oh, please don't tell me then. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go for the Mary first. She's the one that's the most annoying and she's blocking the time mirror, so I'm gonna just focus her first. Nice. Now we go on the time mirror. Go on the return now. About to go on the Kira. I'm gonna use my quest this time. Kill her. Oh my god, this is a really gen packed fight, ladies and gents. I really want to do all prime, but my team is in a Vicarious space. So I'm gonna at least drop in T2, give us some extra time to set up if we need to. Okay, I don't think I can really kill that turn. At least I got that shoved in, so it's in a great spot. There's a river buff I can take, so I can give my mana back. Attack speed's not too bad. Nice, nice, ladies and gents. We're actually doing some really awesome team fight with like Quan, like some really, really awesome stuff. I'm gonna make sure I get that back so that kind of way to chase me. And make sure I get my Flux Matrix. Oh, my team is fighting. No, why would you fight when we're all back? Team, why are we throwing? No way. We're actually throwing really hard. What the heck? There's just no reason to fight this anymore. My team actually just ends. And the butts out. Like no. Like I no. Just like no, please stop. Like my team actually just misplaced so dang hard. Now we only have two old prime buffs and they have an enemy team that's pushing into mid. Like there's just no reason to fight at all. One person can kill off, don't help them. They'll always want me back right away. Like that was just seriously seriously bad because we have some really decisive stuff and now it's just looking really like awful for us. So I mean we play this slow and just make sure we don't just die because the longer we have the old prime bus then we're kinda chilling. I think we can look at the Mirio. Try to push it down because we know she's kinda alone. Now we're going to Argus. Oh my god, he literally just got out the tip of his feet. I need to go focus Kira if we can. Oh my god, I need to get out. Nice, I have to dodge all of that. I do not know what this Chimera is at. I will return soon. Oh, he was right there. Okay, I have Prime buff. I'm just gonna stick around because, yeah, it looks like they really want to get some blood right here. Oh my god, my ultimate just got cancelled last second too. Please get the kill. Nice. I have no HP, but as long as I don't take damage, I should be regen back up. So what I might do is I might keep throwing like Qs and on beasts. Just making sure I don't get hit by the primal fainters and keep regen up so I can actually fight if I need to. Because I have to wait. I have to wait for my health to come back online first. 
play one kill. Mm. Wait, just go. We have to turn now. We have to turn. Okay, it's our Grayson on life. Yes, that's big. They should be able to get her. Uh, do we actually want to do it? Well, I don't know if we can do a mode because, yeah, we're kind of strong. I kind of want. Can we push mid? I have fine buff for 5 seconds. Okay, never mind. Looks like probably won't be enough. But I think we should just do faint to 100%. We just won this down, honestly. Nice, I sold it. Because I mean, I think there's a perfect opportunity to do primal. Like, we just have to rush it. We have 20, 15 seconds. We have more than time because. Wait, right here? He has no blink, so I'm gonna go for this 100%. Yeah, that's just so huge. <sighs> do we have enough time to stu um, finish it though? We don't have ultimate. Away from the decent spot. I can't tank this. I have to try not to tank this the best I can. I just bust it down as best we can before Witcher comes in. This should be able to be bustable. Nice, now we turn onto the um, group right here. Oh my god, the CC though. Oh, uh, Steve is not at the fight. Hmm. Maybe that was just too risky of a call. We took longer than I thought we were going to take with that. But at least we deny the primal onto them. If the Trimbus lives, it's great, but it looks like he might not live right here is the issue. Yeah, he's not going to be the live because he got called out. Kind of looked like he did a lazy back and got called out for it. What's the issue? So we denied them the primal. We got prime coming up soon. So it's... The next fight is going to be the pro old prime. And as long as we can hold inhibitors, we should be fine. I feel like if my team was corny enough, I think instead of going for primal, we we'll just get pushing mid. Um, try to make as much use as I can for my old prime and try to take down the inhibitor. But I think the best call to try to do was try to bust down the prime. Primal, and we just took a little bit too long than I like to. Uh oh, looks like I might have to follow this up. Very big. Let's just let's go all prime. We have to make sure they're not trying to sneak it. We see Kira, but I want to make sure we just get on this ASAP because Mayo being dead is pretty big. Because we have to worry about her shielding her team, especially the kind of Mayo that's like actually been kind of annoying to kill. But we might actually have to go for a pick first. Actually. Fire himself. Okay, let's go left. Let's actually help with this. I'm gonna try to kill with the Chimera. Oh, he died so fast. What the heck? On my way. Oh, she dodged just the last second. Wait, we can get the Victor. He was trying to poke me out though, is the thing. Okay, it's fine. Like, oh no, the diving. I don't like this dive. It's kind of sketchy with a really strong skill, especially. I don't like this. Nah, we went in so deep. Let's just climb. Like, we have jungle advantage. We should just do climb immediately. We gotta make sure our Trimless is alive, though. So make sure we keep an eye on that. Oh, they're, they're getting a little bit greedy. Okay, no. It's, okay, okay. I think we we said enough. I think we just go on this now. A little bit low on HP like last time, but this time there's no... I think we have time to do this. We just to be really quick. So I'm going to use my ultimate because we just need to bust this ACP.
Oh my god, guys. Lock away, no. We need to try to get out if we can. This retreat, we had to get out. Dang, we're still taking a little bit too long to do these. I think we kind of delay a little bit because I was trying to look for a potential pick, but just not as good as I like. Nice, we got the kill onto that. Yeah, I can't really just leave him so long because he's burning a lot of like health or like HP. He's actually not like super tanky, just his health and army fan really just kicking them right there. But we got the kill on this Chimera that's been really hard to kind of deal with. So now we're in the good spot. Not all of us kind of die right there. Uh, looks like me only me and Grayson though has the prime buff. So it's looking like another situation where we have to like maybe do primal right here. I'll look at the August because we just need to get picks. But this is the only way we can really do objectives is if we get picks. So I'm gonna try to look at the August real quick. If he's still around. I feel the heavens fury. Okay, it looks like he backed off. Okay, make sure let's get away from the good spots. I don't know if we should force it right away. We have to go for picks at this point. But we only have like 15 seconds before Kaimel is going to join the fray is the issue. So no, I kind of just want... I want to just group up and tag. Like I don't want to for force this objective. Like, I want to get picks. Maybe it's actually gonna save the August right there. Okay, I'm gonna just focus the Miria because she's really annoying right now with her healing the shielding. Oh my god. Okay, she's gonna blink out. Dang, that looks like they're actually gonna do the objective now at this point. Now we just can't we can't deal with that. It's the issue. So it's only a buff, right? They only have a buff that's gonna really just be like annoying to deal with. So it's just like we, sh we should not be stepping up at all. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get left in a really good spot and then merely I'll just go mid. So I, ha I have to go mid to help out. I'm going back. But I have to give up probably mid and hit because it's just like I cannot defend. I have to still go back and defend, just making sure they'll end all the way at the core. But I want to at least get the left in a really good spot so we don't have to worry about left falling down too, too fast. So we have Grayson August coming up soon. I have to try to find a way to defend this out all the way. It's just the damage on this, like, he was just pushed me a lot. Okay, I don't know if I can hold this. Now we go defend white. They don't have the prime buff, so they don't have really great pushing power. They just have a lot of um, poke damage, so as long as we just play patiently and just keep like defending we should not be fu taking fights we should be if anything the fight should happen under tower so at least have the tower damage to help us out yeah he's trying to go for the dive he went for the bling wow i don't know if i can follow up on that i'm just always so chunk I'm just so strong, I cannot help with that actually. Because the August the Kaimei damage is just massive. An allied inhibitor is under attack. Dang, my whole team is dead and I am quite sad. Because that's looking like it's going to be the GG's right there actually. 
quite unfortunate because we actually were popping up so hard this game. We had like actually some really amazing like team fights actually. Oh, come on, let me do dance. Oh, that. Okay, you gotta disrespect the dance? No way. If only I have the fame out emote, like, you can only have one spray at a time. So I, I always default to like the Q's like kind of friendly spray. Just so if I want to actually um, like interact with someone the friendly way, I have the cute one to do it. Cause trying to interact with someone with the fame now, like spray just too toxic. Like I don't think they get the message across right there. So like I couldn't like do the fame mouth spray right there to be like, you kidding me? You're gonna hook someone that's down dancing in the fountain? Like shaking my head right there. But I mean, we had some really awesome team fights. Like this, there was some really jam packed stuff. But I kind of felt like as the team core, we kind of just fell apart a bit. Like, kind of felt like in some of those team fights, things were just a little bit too messy. Like, we have some really great team fights, but also have some really bad team fights. But while there were some situations where we kept overextending, like the Grey Storm kept pushing right at one point, where we should back off, he died. That looked really bad. And a couple of instances where people were just dying, like at Old Prime, like around the Old Prime pit, someone just died for no reason. and. We got the old prime, but then all my whole team just died with it, and then it's just like, okay, we just can't even use this anymore. So it's just like, I think like in those scenarios where if those deaths didn't happen, we didn't got greedy or we didn't play silly, I think we would definitely pressure a bit more, get the inhibitors down, and that would have been way easier to, to kill objectives and the W right there. Because the only reason why it was kind of hard to kind of do objectives and walk away is because the lanes were just not being pressured enough by like the inhibitors being down. Normally you have inhibitors down, the lanes are constantly pushing, someone has to keep constantly dealing with it, so they can't send the whole squad over to deal with whoever's on like the prime or old prime kind of team fights, right? Sure, maybe we can forego going there, but I felt like we couldn't push in either. I just feel like we're just not coordinated enough. And sometimes you can kind of just tell or get that feeling like, hmm, I think our best bet is to do the objective. We may get punished for it, but we just have no other cards on the table. And unfortunately, these objectives we've been securing left and right, it's just not enough to really just make an impact in those um, team fights. But I mean, like, how's that to Nitro? He actually came back because he kept, like, just farming, farming like crazy. And then, like, he also, and then that's how he just came online, just became self a menace in those team fights. But usually, of course, like, had some really great moments too, and we definitely um, quote unquote won that laning phase right there against his aggressive pick. So we did everything we could, it's just not enough to skill the um, W, but I'm actually satisfied with how I did in this game and how fun with some of the team fights, but with some of those nasty like blink ultimates or like combos and all that really great, great stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments where the heroes about the builds you want me to showcase. Thank you as always for the amazing support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.